This is the Trailcast recording studio. It's also the Trailcast bathroom. I use the bathroom because it's uh, the quietest part of the house and I was amazed how much uh, ambient noise that this microphone actually picks up. So yeah, it, it works well. I also use some uh, egg crate foam padding that I picked up at Target and I've just found uh, just kind of a simple way to mount it. Uh, this section I've uh, used some ceiling hooks and office clips to just kind of hang it. Right here I've uh, installed some uh, some tacks and office clips and they just kind of hang on. This 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 whole partition can, can be taken down and set up in about one minute. My entire recording studio is mounted onto a piece of Formica coated wood. Uh, the kind that you use for, I don't know, shelving and such. I got it for free at Lowe's in the scrap wood section. And my recording studio consists of a mixing board, and I use the Behringer Eurotrack UB802, which is pretty much the de facto mixing board for podcasting. Uh, just about every um, every article I read about uh, podcasting equipment seemed to mention this one. It's a very, very basic mixing board. It cost me uh, about $50 at Guitar Center. It has two XLR mic inputs and two other additional uh, stereo inputs and, and can be mixed. It's uh, very, very basic. Uh, not really sure what else to say about that. Uh, my recording device is the Ederol R1. This is by far the most expensive part of the recording studio. It cost about 400 and some dollars. Um, I hesitated about spending so much money on this, but I was really really concerned about uh, recording on my computer, especially since my computer puts out a lot of noise. Um, I also wanted to be able to record mobily. And if any of you have listened to my interview with uh, Wookie and Island Mama about the West Coast Trail, you'll note that the uh, recording quality, the audio quality is just abysmal. And I, I did my best. It was, a, it was a poor choice of interviewing venue. That was my fault, and I was using uh, my Arcos FM Juke Box, which actually did a fairly admirable job of recording, considering that it's uh, it's not really meant to record. So this has a stereo microphone built in, and it's actually very, very good. It's got a, a variety of effects. It's, it's pretty easy to use. It uses a compact flash card that you insert in the bottom. It accommodates up to two gigs, and that allow that, that that's plenty of that's plenty of recording time. I record at the highest quality, a 24-bit wave, and uh, two gigs I've got uh, or two hours. And uh, it's, it's really more than I need, but I was really eager to go ahead and get my recording off the computer and to have something uh, mobile and reliable. I, you know, the Arcos seemed like it was always a little finicky and, uh, I don't know, it just seemed, it, it, didn't, it, it, it didn't instill a lot of confidence in me. This one does. For $400, it better. Um, as you can see, I have everything kind of locked down. I've got the microphone boom actually zip tied. I've got little eyelets. I've got I've installed little uh, rubber bands where I can uh, rubber band things down. And the whole point is is that this whole um, thing has got little handles. I just think basically just unplug the thing. You know, just got this power strip. Plug it in, and I, I can move this entire piece of wood. It's got everything on it. No, it just makes setup a lot easier. You've noticed that I have two microphones. This microphone actually goes to my computer. I do my telephone interviews using Skype. Skype is an internet voice chat program, but it also allows you to make telephone calls to landlines. You just need to purchase some Skype out credit. It's very cheap. Um, I think their global rate for the most part is roughly around two cents a minute. And considering uh, the audio quality that I get for telephone interviews, it's definitely worth it. I have lines. Those uh, actually go around the corner into my den, which has the computer. Got my speaker and microphone. Here we got uh, white is my mic, and that's my speaker. This goes directly into my mixing board. This is the, this is the speaker, and then there's my computer mic, which is also attached right here. The microphone that I use for actually recording my voice is a, a AKG Perception 100. It's about $100. No, I probably did not need to spend $100 on it, but uh, hey, it's it's a nice sounding mic, and uh, I just I, it's still a learning process for me. It does it does pick up a good bit of uh, ambient noise, uh, hence the need for the for the egg crate and actually recording in my bathroom. So uh, why do I use Skype? Well, Skype. The one thing that Skype uh, offers you versus a regular phone line is that the audio coming from the caller is completely separate. 
on a normal telephone system, the audio that you send down to the caller, your voice, is actually returned back to you, which makes recording kind of tricky. If you want to get nice, clean separation of the caller's voice and your voice for recording, you actually need to invest in something called a hybrid. And uh, hybrids are used by radio stations or uh, NPR, and they start at about $600 and go up. And they allow you to digitally remove your voice from the telephone conversation since you're recording your voice separately. Uh, however, Skype is designed to be efficient with the internet, so the only audio coming back to you is just the voice of the caller. So you don't get your voice. So I record my voice separately, and the only audio coming out of my computer, which is put into my mixing board and mixed down into my recorder, is the voice of the caller. So, boom, that's why I use Skype, and I found that it is actually uh, very reliable. The cables, you can see it just kind of runs along the floor, my ugly dirty bachelor floor into my den with my noisy computer. Hence the need for separating the, uh, the recording responsibilities into the bathroom. And that's, uh, that, that's pretty much it.